All right, this video doesn't require much of an intro. Back out here, third time to try to catch a slaunch daddy, swamp donkey for the pond. We're at the same pond that we fished last time. This isn't it, this is a pond that's off like sort of only about 100 yards from the other bigger pond where I've broken off on some good ones. So we're gonna be doing the same thing, stay as long as we need to to try and catch like a five pounder for the pond. But we're gonna be doing something different since we failed two times already and I've tried a few other times off camera. We're gonna be trying to use live bait today. Yeah, so hopefully live bait will uh, catch some of the bigger fish because I've just caught like 50 small fish here and lost a few big ones. Just got little like one and a half foot dock demon rod with a tiny hook right there and a bag of tortillas and I'm at this small pond here I'm just gonna cast out hopefully we can get about a four inch little bluegill and then I'll walk up to the main big pond which I'm gonna be fishing put on like a Carolina rig and um, hopefully get one of those big ones to bite. Alright here's the plan just come up on the bank rip off one of these flower tortillas roll it up in a little ball toss it out there Hopefully, chum up the water. Oh yeah, it's already getting destroyed. Oh! Got him! Yes! Oh, oh my gosh. That took so freaking long. Come here. Look at that. Give him a little rinse. Here we go. That might be a, just a bit too big. I don't know. Just in case I don't catch anything else though, I'm gonna keep him. There we go. Keep him for now. If I get a smaller one, then I'll probably release him. Stop it, stop it. Man. I think this guy's just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit too big. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, this guy might be just perfect size. I think this guy's perfect size. There we go. Oh. oh, this is another one I think just about perfect size. They're loaded up right off this little bridge. See, now that I'm pretty sure I can get a lot about this size, I can go ahead and grab maybe. There we go. This is the guy that's just a little bit too big. There he is. Oh, I think this guy might. Yeah, this guy's a little bit too big. About the same as that one I just released. Ow. Toss him right over there. Alright, just so I don't take up too much time, I'm going to keep on fishing. Probably catch about five more of these little dudes and then go up to the pond and see if we can get a big bass. Guys? Someone stole all my stuff. Here's the lake. Got all the bluegill in that bucket, right here. Had five rods, a loose mock crush, a Shimano Sitica laying right here, and it's gone. 
and the only thing they left was this, which is that, which is a cooler with a few like drinks in it so I don't completely get dehydrated, and this bucket. I cannot believe it. Someone stole all my stuff. That's all my gear. That's all the gear I own. I brought all my gear here. Everything. They would have stolen my GoPro too, but it's on my chest. Well, I guess you won't be seeing any fishing videos for a while until I can get earn a bunch more money and buy myself a new rod. Someone stole all my gear. I'm walking over to all these houses. I saw some teenagers out on that point fishing whenever I first came up and I set my stuff down over there. It's all gone. I'm just gonna walk up to these houses and say, what'd you do with it? Those kids must have seen me set down all my stuff right here and then just walked all around the pond and saw that I wasn't here and just took it. I'm about to go ring all the doorbells and uh, figure out who took it and call the police or something. I don't know. That was at least 800 bucks worth of stuff. I had it all set right there, and then whenever I walked up, none of it was here, and I came. This is the stuff I had with me, that bucket, which has all those bluegill, which are perfect size and ready to probably catch a mondo in that pond and then bring it to my pond and have it all good, and I had that, and then I came to this bucket. It was like over there, flipped over, and then here, which is basically just ice and a water and a Gatorade just laying in these bushes. What's your date of birth? 210.70.